Today is July the 2nd. What might happen if we're a citizen of heaven? Let's discuss that together. So all this week we've been talking about citizenship in heaven. We've been talking about the difference between being a consumer Christian and being a citizen. What might happen if we truly become a citizen of heaven? If we begin to honor the duties that we understand that Christ has given us and enjoy the privileges of being a citizen of heaven. You know, today we have seen that a particular generation, uh, as frequently happens, uh, they are tending to leave the church. Uh, the generation that we call millennials, uh, even, even uh, Gen Z, uh, are increasingly leaving the church. As uh, recently as 10 years ago, that happened after uh, teens finished high school when they went off to college. Today it's happening during the teenage years while they are still in high school. There are reasons for that. And I believe that if we were truly citizens of heaven and not consumer Christians, we might not be seeing the number of millennials leaving the church. There are several reasons, five here that I'd like to mention, why millennials stop attending church. Millennials stop attending church because they feel judged. Now, you know, that's the interesting thing about citizenship. As we are citizens, we may have different viewpoints as citizens of the same country but we don't deny that we are members of the same country. Republicans, Democrats, uh, liberals, conservatives, um, we generally don't attack each other saying you're not an American. What we do say is that if you are an American, you should think this way. You see, sometimes we judge. It's easy to judge. Millennials feel judged. We need to make sure that as we deal with other members of God's kingdom, that we are embracing them and making sure that all of us understand that we are indeed members of his kingdom together. Secondly, millennials uh, leave the church because they see hypocrisy in the church. Again, this is not a recent thing. This is something that has been around for a long time. People in the church who talk the talk but don't walk the walk. A citizen truly lives and fulfills his or her duties. We need to fulfill our duties as a citizen of heaven. The duties that we talked about is to do the things that Jesus did, to become the type of person Jesus was, and to share the gospel, to live, love, and go like Jesus. Millennials leave the church because they believe that Christians today are no longer relevant. Um, another way of saying that is that they're living in their own reality. Christians create a reality that they live in. And it's not relevant to the reality that the millennial is living in. Christ transforms culture. He does that through us. And so we need to be uh, incredibly relevant. We need to understand what the culture around us is saying, and we need to be willing to challenge that. 
This is not about acceptance and agreement with the culture around us, but it is about understanding and challenging. Fourth, millennials leave the church because the church focuses on buildings and the church focuses on particular times. This is all too easy to do. As we come together and create a building where we can be, suddenly we have something that we are quire, required to maintain. We want to maintain it well, and that requires resources, both money and time. Millennials have little use for the buildings. The church is the people. We say that. We believe that but sometimes it's very easy for us to get caught up in a leaky roof, in a dirty carpet, and not think about the people who are coming together. As citizens of God's kingdom, we need to recognize that the church is the people, and we need to act accordingly. And finally, millennials leave the church because we're not passionate. A citizen should be proud of his country. Now, I know yesterday I talked about pride in negative terms. Um, unfounded pride is inappropriate. But as citizens of heaven, we can be proud of the fact that we belong to God's household, to God's family. That brings with it a certain passion for God's household, for God's family. How passionate are you about Jesus? How passionate are you about the people that you worship with? So today, as we come to the end of this time, just let me ask you the question. How can I be a citizen of God's kingdom today. Please like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. On Sunday, we'll talk about outreach and how the topics of the sermons from the last four Sundays, unity, generosity, hospitality, and citizenship come together in reaching out to new people who need to hear the old story of Jesus.